was thinking October 2010, Sony announced, okay, Spider-Man 4 is out. We're going to do a reboot of this 2.5 billion sort of trilogy franchise. So with great box office comes great responsibility. I don't know whether <laughs> there was a part of you who was mildly petrified, even as you kind of <laughs> embraced it. Well, you know what? I, I, I was petrified, but not for the reasons of money. It's, it's, it's a, for me, it's more of um, the responsibility of the of the of the, the character and that symbol. Like it really does mean a lot to me. And uh, and um, you know, this story, this legacy, the story of Spider Man and Peter Parker, is so important. I think for for for, for young people and uh, in terms of the the universal themes and messages that that, that it has. If you got a kid who's dealing with the problems of being an adolescent and and he's 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 given this power to do good for his community and to be a father to his city and he makes the choice every day to do that and it's a struggle and it's a what a wonderful example was was for me and it is for all kids around the world i know we should just mention actually just as an aside you're on a battery hen kind of tour of having to do millions of interviews you did a great job by the way just so you know that in, the, in your heart because there's a lot of uh, oh, questions you. i'm sure you're going to go to a lot of uh, days of being in a daze but yeah well done Thank but as I say, we'll get Cheers. deep, and I'll, I'll be critical about other stuff. But just so you know, I'd that. love to hear the critical stuff. Well, I spoke to you for Social Network, and we just spoke briefly at the end about this. You said there was a nice quote. You said, "I'm probably going to be the guy in the movie theater shouting <laughs> abuse at myself." <laughs> You've seen the film. Did you do any shouting? Did you? I didn't shout. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. You know, like vocally, it was all internal. Um, it was, you know, it's. Very, well, I mean, like, it's weird listening to yourself back on an answering machine. So it's like right. terrible watching yourself in 3D playing a character that has been your hero since you were three years old. It's just hard. Um, but I, I'm, I, but you know what? I, I, I was. I know. I know how hard I worked. I know. I know. I did everything I could. It's, and it's a nice thing to be able to say. You know, it's not. It's not the winning or losing. It's how you play the game. And you know, I, I, I played the game as hard as I could and left it all on the field. And I'm, I'm proud of that. So. I know that early on, uh, you rebelled against. I think your 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 swimming coach father had a very kind of strong fitness regime, and you decided that wasn't for you. And I just got cold in the pool. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just but, a very skinny boy. For this movie, you needed a body like mine, so there was a yes. lot of work. <gasps> yes. So there was a lot of work involved. I don't know. If it just felt, you know, kind of. I don't know if empowering. It felt good to sort of go there because you can actually physically change your. Yeah, your... there's something wonderful about that, and that's something that you know it was for the for the character is for the role because that's what Peter Parker feels and I was like well that's what I, I need to feel so that I know what that feeling is because I've always been a skinny kid with 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 the body I have and and uh, you know for, for the in order to do honor and service to the role I and for myself and my own ego it was a really nice thing to, to achieve and terrible terrible work and I don't advise it to anyone because you go into a, an existential crisis every time you pick up weights I find and you literally are like why Am I lifting these now and putting them down? And why am I doing that again? Oh my God, I'm a rat on a wheel, and and I'm still doing it. And why? You know, it's 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 an interesting thing. You did say too back then when I spoke to you. Just the at that point, because it was just still early days. Social Network was out, and you'd just been announced as, as Spider Man. That that you'd only been papped once at an airport, and you felt it was a disgusting and horrible thing because it just felt like an, a real intrusive, mm -hmm. you know, kind of act. But now it's obviously kind of bit you know, going to be there a lot more. And I don't know if that's been difficult to readjust your set to, to sort of get used to the possibility that wherever you step out, there's that possibility that you'll be photographed. Or... Yeah, yeah, it's an animal thing. And, and, and animals do adjust to their environments and, and, you know, like plants adjust to their environments. Uh, otherwise, they, they'll, they'll, they'll die. So you have to come to some kind of higher understanding of it. And, and, and it's not just an animal thing. It's actually, there's, this, there's something spiritual about... Um, about it as well because you uh, instead of going oh man this this guy is really or this woman is 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 really ruining my day or making me feel angry or, or pulling up pulling up these things everything is perspective so you can you can then go actually you know what they, they maybe they have a, a son at home maybe they um, they, they, they they they're an immigrant and they they, they, they couldn't get a, get a job somewhere else and they need to make money to support a, a big family and 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 then suddenly when you realize that that we're all going through the same human experience and that you just to remind yourself of that that we're all part of the same thing it becomes a lot easier to um to have empathy i think empathy is everything and if you have empathy with someone else then more often than, than not they'll feel empathy with you and I've, I've spoken to a lot of them actually I, I always have conversations with them whenever I can whenever they're available to and if they're not then I just try and go on about my day but usually when, when a conversation is struck up there's something very positive and nice that comes out of it because it just ends up being two human beings talking and then suddenly the day be the day becomes lighter so you haven't done a full Bieber on anybody you don't feel that way what happened with that I was just a photographer I think harassed him he gave a push and then it became well the a thing is like I understand I can empathize with that too and I can understand 
Sean Penn, whatever. Yeah, I can understand Woody Harrell's. Like, you're like, it's like, because cause some of them, some some of them can be very hateful and they can be very provocative, mm. and you know, you know, you know, un, 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 like dark, like operating from that dark place, and uh, you know, it, it it takes a very big, you know, big person to be able to say. You know, if someone's abusing your child in front of mm. you or abusing your wife or your mother and saying like, or like if, if a relative has just died and they're provoking you about that, there's something inhumane about it. Mm. And even thinking about it now makes me want to punch you in the face, even though you're, you're nothing, to, you know what me. I mean? What the you, because of your Steely yeah. Dan t-shirt. <laughs> I don't like Steely Dan. Um, no, I love Steely Dan. Right. Um, my dad would be very happy wearing a Steely Dan t-shirt. Please. I'm good. <laughs>